So our animal theme continues with a, two very special guests, two-legged and four-legged here. We have Senna Hamlin with Denver Cat Company and her buddy up for adoption, Carmen. Carmen is a sweetheart and so good, and we're going to get to you in a minute. But first, I was shocked to learn about this cat cafe craze going on everywhere. Mm -hmm. And of course, Denver, mm -hmm. I was looking at my, the Cat Fest magazine, and you were featured. How did this spark your idea? You were one of the first in the country. That's right. So, I, yeah, I just heard about this being done in New York by Purina as a pop-up. So they just did a four-day cat cafe before there were any cat cafes in the U.S., and I heard about it. And I just fell in love with the idea, and I became sort of obsessed with it. I, was I can just, tell. You're I was just very like, passionate. I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this for months. And then I finally just quit my job and <sighs> went it. for it. Now, almost three years you've been open. Two and a half years, yes. Two and a half December years. December 2014. So, so yeah. how does this work? We come in, Do we? can we bring outside drinks and cats? Mm. Do you feature the drinks? And... We feature some drinks. We're not a full-service cafe. We can't be because of the health code. Okay. Uh, but we have a, you know, a small, you know, not full-service coffee shop, but we have a sort of coffee shop. Okay. And we have an entry fee, so you have to pay an entry fee to get in. Uh, and then you have unlimited time with cats. And we have at least a dozen cats at any given time. They're all up for adoption. And they're all from a local shelter. They're all from two local shelters that we partner with. Okay, great. Yes. Um, and and then we come in and we can, mm -hmm. um, you just relax. You can get your kitty fix, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. Because it helps to lower the stress. And maybe you're not mm -hmm. ready for a pet. Come mm -hmm. here, Carmen. Oh, she likes oh, you. I know. Oh. And so this is a great way to help a, a wonderful cause. Yes, absolutely. Because they get so much exposure, which is something that we haven't, uh, you know, if you have a black cat in a shelter for, you know, months on end and the only way that that cat is being seen is online, which is the right. case with our uh, partnering groups right. because they're rescues, they're not open to the public. One is called Life is Better and the other is called POSCO and they're really good organizations, but you can't just walk in and meet a cat. Right. So they get so much exposure oh, um, and, you know, so. as one of them put it to me, <laughs> nobody's going to look online at a picture of a black cat and decide this is their new best friend. Well, track. you have to come and check yeah. it out and see how you connect. But then you, you, can, you, 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 know, you can play with them, it's completely cage-free at the cafe, <gasps> they are free roaming, they act like they're in a home setting because we make it very comfortable yeah. for them and they just chill. How and many cats have you adopted out so far? So we have adopted out 368 cats as of yesterday. Good for you. Yes. And they usually all go, you say. I'm like, well, they what do you do? do? They, they get don't. adopted so she fast. Goes, Tanya, they all get adopted. <laughs> um, yeah, you're open seven days a week. That's I want right. to mention this at 3929 Tennyson Street. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you say? What are some of the people's reaction when they come in or stumble across this? It's such. Oh! <laughs> That's the one I love the most, but right. you know the reactions are all over the place. You know, people are often like they walk in and they're like, "So what? People are bringing their own cats?" I'm like, no, no, that wouldn't work so well. Right. The cats are here; they're up for adoption. You know, you can hang out with them, and they're like, "Oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever heard of." Most of them, and some of them are like, "Oh, how weird!" And you know, do, do you have success getting them adopted? Some people are surprised. You can just tell who's a cat the person, mix. who's not a cat person. You can tell I'm a cat person. Let's get to <laughs> Carmen. Carmen is the sweetest of all, and. She was adopted out and then came back after two months. Allergies were a problem. And the big concern now with you is that they fed her a little too much. They did. She, she was at the cat cafe before. So Good she was there for, uh, in February. She got adopted. Yeah. And she was, you know, a normal-sized cat. Right. And then she came back in um, April. Actually, no, it was more like May, I think. And then uh, she was this fat. And oh, we were just shocked to see her. her. It is hard on her. She's hardly comfortable, but that means she kind of drapes herself, you know, in I interesting know. positions. It's very cute. Uh, but the thing about Carmen is, you know, she has uh, a super sweet personality, but she likes to be the boss. So she would be nice. best as an only cat. If you do want to adopt her, it would be Life is Better Rescue. Dot .org. Okay. That's where you would go to adopt her. She and then is they 75 come by. to adopt. She's spayed, so she is not pregnant. This is oh. a question we get about her all the time. No, she <laughs> We're going to get you in shape. We are, lady. And you just. Oh, she's sweet. been so good today because she was, she was sad in the car, but she was fine in the studio. She hid under the chair for a bit. Now but she's, she's great. Fine. So it's amazing to think that, um, I keep learning about cats, but you're saying that they come in and it's a group of cats and people think, oh, how do they get along? But right. they, they understand. They, they understand what's going on. Yeah, they understand they have to share the space. They understand it's a survival thing for them. Um, it stresses about a little bit to not have their own territory, but they, Where you go a little. they get over that. Right, right. And they're only, you know, you only subject them to it for a bit. And they, you they do. Kind of are a, they're it's, a happy group. I mean, you come in, you friendly. see they're all very relaxed. They sleep through most of the day, so they're super relaxed. They're not stressed out. You know,
yeah, it's a good environment, and then, you know, soon enough, they're adopted. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, she's a sweetheart. Well, if you're interested, what a great weekend thing to stop by Denver Cat yes. Company. Yes. And check out Carmen, because she is up for adoption. She's such a loving, loving cat. Um, once again, they're open seven days a week. They're on Tennyson Street at 3929. Okay, you want to come back over here? You like the camera? And um, we have to leave. With because Dipstick, who I sent you the picture. Yes, he's so um, adorable. He is actually enjoying a summer treat, and I had to share this in honor of Kitty Cats. That's Mr. Dipstick, and once in a while, I know it's just a few licks of his favorite vanilla <laughs> ice cream, and um, he gets that once in a while. So I had had to share that. And just remember, it's really hot outside. Keep your pets cool. And if you see any inside a hot car, please help them. Definitely. All right, Denise, back to you.